No, it's not the cross section of a speed bump. This is actually what I call the shape of your life. So we're born weak and helpless. We kind of rise up, evolve, coast and arc over through our life, and then we begin the gradual or not so gradual descent. This being the time and the years of our life, and this being our energy, vitality, and really strength, or this is time. This, this shape of our life is what we accept as normal. We believe that you know somewhere in midlife we arc over and, and everything starts going slower and we get less and less. This is really a myth. This is a myth we've accepted to be true. We, we, grad, we accept this gradual decline when it's not a necessary decline. So the signs of aging and symptoms of aging have been scientifically shown to be more or more directly related to lifestyle and how you live than how long you've lived. Strength for life shows you how to create an X S curve and get out of the gap, moving from here up to your fuller potential. Energy, vitality, strength, capacity. Right down below this, this good enough normal line here is the tightrope walk of health, which is just one slip away from illness. This is the big I right down below here. So my question, why live at strength? Why live at capacity? Maybe, maybe you're happy right here. Maybe this is good enough. Maybe you know a lot of people will say, you know, I'm happy cruising along. But cruising along, good enough, is costing your family and costing your country. You're not able to contribute as much. You're a slip away from liability. So you may not choose strength for yourself, but choose it for your family, choose it for your friends, choose it for your community, choose strength ultimately for your country. But choose strength, your full potential. Don't just let take the gradual decline and exit.